All right, we're back with this awesome pally deck. Trying to make it awesomer. Er, est, something. It's it's playing really well. It's got a lot of answers, a lot of solid cards. Um, we just seem to be able to keep control of the board. And we haven't run into anybody who has any major AoE yet. I haven't seen a lightning storm. I haven't seen a flame strike, a blizzard. So we've been able to dodge some nasty spells. And as I say that, here is the mage with all of the AoE. <laughs> Just you watch, it's gonna happen. Humility, come back for later. Asher Drake, come back for later. We will keep the true silver because it's awesome. All right, so we get another very slow play. And, yeah. I don't see any point to playing Avenge right now. I could, just to use the mana, you know? But it's not useful until you have two creatures on the field anyway. Like and that's not a good sign. Alright. We play the hero power, she's gonna hero power it and hit me in the face. At least, that's what she should do. Yep, free, well, cheap arcane intellect, but no hero power, which is good for me, actually. Because that meant she traded. Um, Brewmaster, no, not yet. Instead, we're gonna go with another guy. And... Avenge. Now, she might be afraid of Get Down which might force her to use her hero power and play nothing this turn. If she does that, we can true silver and start getting good value out of that. And then we've got a lot of good cards to follow it up. All right, she chose to hit it anyway, which means she won't have much mana to play anything this turn. She does have the coin, though. So she could play a small creature. But mostly, I was worried about her not fire blasting that turn. That would have been bad for me. But now I've got these true silvers. So we can start cleaning stuff up. She has hoarded a lot of cards because we forced some fire blasts. Um. What's she got? She's got seven? Seven cards? To my five, six, seven. So we're about even right now. Except for my HP. Just have to wait and see how the trades go. I have to get them to go in my favor. And that... could be a problem. Oh. That leaves me with three mana? I don't really have anything worth playing on three mana. But there's probably no better card to equality. Let me think. Alright. I'm I think I'm gonna do it. Put out a guy. Mostly because that would have been a very hard card for me to wear down. It would have easily hit for eight damage across, say, my children Yeti or my son Walker and I needed to get it off the field. Now we've got another True Silver to follow things up. She's gonna Fire Blast and play a little creature. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. So that means the True Silver comes out again. For justice. And I'm, if, if you're wondering why I haven't played the Brewmaster, it's because I want to use it to save the Sunwalker if I can. That Sunwalker, I have a feeling, is going to absorb a lot of hits. And I'm pretty sure she knows that that card is Avenge. This is good for me. Oh, but wait, there's Cobra. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we Yeti Cobra? Or maybe... 
since it's flame strike turn, Let me I'll see. go with no mission venter and cobra. Because Cobra will knock out that water elemental for me. And that'll be helpful. And if it doesn't, and he hits, say, the Gnomish Inventor, or casts a big spell this turn, I can still put the Sunwalker out. And then use the Cobra later. What to do? What to do? But this guy seems to be playing very cautiously. See, now I can use the True Silver Champion to kill it. And I don't have to use the Cobra. That's, m that's an advantage to me. So now she's got to kill it. Oh, nope, she just kind of cold it. Which avenged my snake. Oh yeah, 5-4 snake. Gonna kill stuff. And you've got three mana left. And that water elemental is going down. I've got the beast in my side. Well, that didn't work, did it? For justice. Goodbye, water elemental. Protect the snake. Truth is my shield. And... Amani Berserker. Flame Strike could be really bad here if he hits with the 4-2, uh, but he doesn't have enough to Flame Strike and Fire Blast. So that means I would still have a 4-1 on the field. I wonder. But maybe he's got Blizzard. I don't know. We'll see. He's thinking about this really hard. Because he's in a bad spot. He either plays big creatures, or he does something to mess with my board. Well, he froze everything, got rid of the shield. And he's still got hero power enough to deal with the taunt. Alright. A Doomsayer! Look at that! We've got no way to deal with the Doomsayer, unfortunately. Nothing is fast enough. We could save the Cobra with the Brewmaster. Um, and that basically trades the two out. I wonder. And I think that might be worth it, because the Cobra will be more useful than the Brewmaster later. So we save the Cobra, that'll give us the ability to kill something big. We're looking at... See, there's a nasty card. And now he's got two of them. That's okay. Because we can... Cobra... Put out a big nasty card of our own. And play a guy. Now I've got two cards on the field that can both one-to-one -one the water elementals. So that puts me in a good spot, and he's going to have to use something like a fireball or some decent AoE to give him advantage for these water elementals. Yep, there's the fireball. So I don't mind that. I expected that to happen. He's probably going to hit me in the face twice. Come on, you can do it. Don't have another option. If you hit that, it's just gonna... Oh, that was kind of silly. You just lost three damage. And now we get to play some really good cards to follow stuff up. And it's just gonna be quality of cards now. He's got a card advantage on me, though, that's for sure. 
That freaking doomsayer did some work. It really slowed me down. Oh, that hurts. He was really, really patient with that flame strike. That might have just won him the game. Hammer of Wrath. Not sure you're gonna do what I need you to do yet. Well, you could kill a guy, so that might be worth it. That got me a bit more cards. Now I've got a slight card advantage, but I've got half his health. Health doesn't matter that much until you've got control of the board. We must cleanse the At least not in arena. Now he's gonna kill the drake. That was a good play. And he's got control of the board. And I don't have any catch-up cards. Alright. So... We're probably just going to have to go Stranglethorn Tiger, heal myself, and what? Do we shield? Probably not. I guess Murlocs are good here? He's likely to only kill one of them. And even the 1-1 one, one should get me a trade with Blessing of Might. Frostbolt. Is that enough damage? Does he have enough damage? Ah, Reckless Rocketeer. Well, there's our first loss. Oh. Well played. That was a struggle. But that just shows you how important it is to pick the right time for your flame strike. Because he held on to it. There were twice, twice he had options where he could have thrown it. But he waited, and he waited, and he waited, and then that won him the game. Without a doubt, taking out the Chilwin Yeti and the Azure Drake just gave him the tempo swing he needed to win the game. Ah, the lack of consecration concerns me, but we are playing pretty well. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.